We are Onyx Imaging. We are the highest rated and most reviewed printer service center in Oklahoma. Hi, my name is John with Onyx Imaging. Today we're going to take a look at this Brother MFC L2717 printer. And we're going to show you some common causes of paper jams. More specifically, we're going to be looking at some common causes of paper jams that are happening because of what's going on inside the paper tray. So let's go ahead and remove the paper tray. And the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is remove the paper out of it so we can take a look at the bottom of the paper tray. And you'll notice if you look down in here that there's a bunch of different markings for different sizes of paper. And then you also have these little adjusters both vertically and horizontally inside the tray to adjust this tray to whichever size piece of paper you're using in your printer. So it's very important that these are set directly on the indicator lines for the specific type of paper that you're using in that tray. If you have them set to a smaller size or a larger size, what it can do is one, it could either leave, let the paper be too loose inside the paper tray, making it very difficult for the printer to pull paper through, or it can cause the paper to be too tight inside the paper tray, again, making it very difficult for the printer to pull paper through. Also, sometimes what it can do is tell the printer that there's a different size piece of paper inside this paper tray. So when it's pulling paper, it's actually looking for a different size piece of paper, and it can actually say that there's a paper jam even when there's not. So again, very important. Make sure that all these little indicators are set directly on the indicators for the size paper that you're using in your printer. So once you have that figured out, another really common thing you see is from adding paper inside the printer when you have a little bit of paper left at the bottom. So what will happen is you take your new stack of paper, it usually gets set about two thirds halfway across and pushed into the paper tray. And you get one or two sheets that kind of roll up on the back of the tray. And what will happen is it kind of binds the paper into the paper tray and the printer has a really hard time pulling it through the printer. So it's really important to make sure that whenever you add paper, that you pull the paper tray out far enough so that you can look at all four sides and make sure it's a nice even stack all the way around, that there's no paper curled up anywhere. If you do find paper curled up, if you can just pull that out, it'll go a long way as far as reducing the amount of paper jams you're getting. Um, again, very important to make sure you have a nice, clean, even stack of paper inside your paper tray. Another thing that's very common from adding paper into your paper tray is adding too much paper. So if you look at all these little uh, indicators on the top of these little adjusters, you'll see that there's a little flag that's kind of your maximum paper fill line. And sometimes, like I said, nobody wants to have to stop in the middle of a print job and add more paper into the paper tray. So it's extremely common for people to try to add as much paper as they can kind of fit inside of here. Um, what'll happen though is if you stack this too high, it makes the paper way too tight up against the paper pickup assembly and the printer has a really hard time pulling the paper through. So generally I would recommend leaving just a small gap between the, your top sheet of paper and these little markings for your maximum fill line. And again, that'll help drastically as far as reducing the amount of paper jams you're getting. And the last really common thing that you see is, especially if you've had the printer for a little while or it's a printer that you use very heavily, um, there are little rubber rollers that actually pick up the paper and pull it through the printer and eventually they do wear out and need to be replaced. And so if these first initial steps haven't helped you reduce your paper jams, you're still getting them, there's a good chance that your rollers have been worn out and they need to be replaced. And if that's the case, please feel free to reach out to Onyx. We'd love to help you out with that. Also, if you have any other questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to Onyx. We'd love to help you out with those as well. And if there's any way we can help supply you with any of your office supplies or printer supply needs, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to help supply this for you. And we hope you have a great day and you're back up and printing. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in how you can receive free labor on all of your service calls, as well as how to qualify for free printer upgrades, contact us today. We are here for all of your printer and office supply needs.